Welcome to the sixth day of Christmas here on my channel. I am sick and tired of having no decorations up in my apartment. It is just making me super sad. I deliberately waited to put some decorations up because last year I put my decorations up the day after Thanksgiving and I, so like by the time like real actual Christmas rolled around, I had been celebrating Christmas for like 30 days and I was kind of over it. Well, I mean not over it, but it had just kind of lost some of its magic, which sucks because Christmas is my like favorite time of year and I want it to be as magical as it possibly can. So I tried to wait a little bit this year and then it got a little bit out of hand and I have waited far too long and there is nothing Christmassy in my apartment and Christmas is like days away. So this is driving me crazy. I have like, what time is it? Oh my goodness, I have like 40 minutes until I need to leave to go to my parents' house. I have this box of decorations here that I got out like ages ago and I haven't done anything with. So I think for the next 40 minutes, I'm going to frantically try to put up as many Christmas decorations as I can. I'm gonna wait on the tree um, because I have to go get that out of my storage thingy out on the porch and it's behind a whole bunch of other stuff like Halloween decorations and random things. So I'm going to wait on that one and I'm probably going to put that up tomorrow and film it, but then stick it at the end of this vlog. So this is going to be a two part vlog <laughs> starting right now with me doing what I can in 40 minutes. Honestly, it really didn't get that much done, but it already looks a lot more festive. I'm not gonna show you what it looks like yet because I'm gonna wait until everything is all ready and then I'll give you like a little holiday tour. Um, I also managed to slice open my finger while uh, throwing something away on an old tomato soup can top, so that wasn't very fun. Um, shoot, there was something I needed to do. Oh, oh, dishes, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm doing dishes and then I'm going over to my parents' house and I will see you guys for you in like a hot second uh, tomorrow when I set up the tree. I think I might have overdone it on the marshmallows a little bit. Hi everyone! So it is the next day and I am incredibly hyped up on sugar right now as you can see. Kinda went overboard. But I have just finished filming a video that is going up for you yesterday. Yeah? Yeah. I think, maybe. It's the holiday cocktail ones, and I'll let you in on a little secret. This one is included in the video, but I faked the alcohol because I didn't want mine to be alcoholic. So this is a virgin spiked peppermint North Pole hot chocolate. I haven't decided what I'm calling it yet. Anyway, um, I am going to decorate my tree. Well, first I'm gonna set up my tree. It's not even up yet, and then I'm gonna decorate it. Oh, okay put this down this is really hurting um, by the way I've got my lights up because it is so dark in here it's ridiculous um, my friend Tabitha from grad school just sent me the most hilarious card all the way from England and I have to show it to you <laughs> it's right next to the light so it's really bright but look it's funny <laughs> okay so step one for me is to put on a Christmassy movie I think I'm gonna put on white Christmas because I love that one and Nobody else that I know really likes it, so no one's gonna watch it with me. So I'm gonna do that. And I was feeling really festive in this sweater, but it's hot as balls. So I think I'm gonna change into something a little bit cooler and then I'm gonna sit on my tree. Just like the ones I used to know.
<laughs> Look at that little guy. <laughs> What's he doing in there? So I long to clear a path and lift a spade of snow. I think it looks really good. My tree style, by the way, is very um, hodgepodge. I'm not one of those people that wants my tree to look perfectly coordinated and chic. No, I go for <laughs> uh, tacky and cozy, I guess. Um, so let me show you my decorations. I'm not going to show you all of them because my apartment is a mess. But so here's my mantelpiece. I have this little guy. This is one of my favorite things in the whole world this is a giraffe dressed up like santa claus this is kringle the jingle giraffe he's amazing and then this is my nutcracker and then i've got some lights and some garland and then i have this little blanket right here that i got for like five dollars at walmart over here nothing much has changed here except for i added this um poinsettia little table runner and then over here, I have this really special hanging giraffe ornament that was given to me by a family friend. So um, this holds a very special place in my heart. And I've got some fake snow with some lights underneath it and a bow. And over here, I hung up some lights on the wall because I just filmed right here. And then I have my amazing gingerbread house, which you will have seen in an earlier uh, day of Christmas video. And it's just resting on top of this little thing that says cookies for Santa. Um, but these are not for Santa. These are for me. Here's my wreath and there are lights in here but i can't find the battery pack it's driving me crazy so these do actually turn on i just oh wait wait oh my god found it but there are no batteries in it okay well i'm gonna put batteries in that and then here's my wreath okay never mind those lights take c batteries who the heck has c batteries just laying around their house i don't here is my tree Ta-da! I love it. I've got this really beautiful tree mat underneath here with no presents. I haven't wrapped any presents yet, so I need to put some presents under there. And I always go for multicolored lights on my tree. I don't know. It's just a thing that my family has always done, and Joel thinks they're tacky, but I love them. Like I said, I want my tree to be like super, I don't know, just like out there, not chic. I don't want you to feel like you can't touch my tree. I want you to feel like you can come up and touch this tree and, and see all of the things on it. Anyway, oh no. So maybe don't touch the tree. Anyways, here are some of my favorite um, ornaments. I got this little mouse clippy guy in Greenville, South Carolina, and they have this whole mouse thing going on up there and it's super cute. And I have a whole bunch of these um, crocheted snowflakes that I made uh, last year. I made like, I can't remember, a bunch of them. Um, a lot of these are just little bobbly things that I got at Home Goods or inherited from my family. But some of them are special. I have this really cute um, giraffe. I love him. I have this photo of me and one of my very close friends, Samantha. So Samantha, if you ever watch this video, hi, I love you and I miss you. I have this little bumblebee, which you will have seen earlier. Um, and this super adorable uh, alpaca slash llama. I'm not sure which one he is, but I picked this guy up in Cusco. And I think technically he was supposed to be a gift, but I never gifted him. Bad Katie. I picked up this little guy at, ooh, oh my goodness, uh, Hobby Lobby, I think, or Michael's. I can't remember. A craft store. And I just love him. He's just so jolly and he's got a cup of coffee and I just love him a lot. And then the last kind of like unique or different, um, ornament is this one. This is the storefront of a place downtown called Harrison Brothers Hardware and they sell these in their store every year and I don't know I just think it's a really cute reminder of home even though I'm still home. I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here because I haven't eaten yet it's about eight o'clock and I need to eat and edit the video that needs to go up tomorrow and um, maybe wrap some presents we'll see but I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!